Well, the Lord and his infinite wisdom has granted us some sunshine today, so that's nice. It's a pretty rare occurrence. And here comes an absolutely delightful boat to cheer us up in this period of lockdown. She's called the Welsh Wizard. She's 60 feet long. She's a cruiser stern narrowboat built in 2004 by Aquiline. And she's in absolutely stunning condition. The paintwork's fabulous. She was last blacked in July 2019. Eight anodes on her, four were new in 2019. Been serviced every year, last done in January this year, 2021, and there's a full survey available for viewing from 2018. That pram hood was new in August 2018. Collapses ever, ever so easily for cruising. Very good head height in there. It's good space if you're a liverboard. Great in the winter, gives you a bit of an outside room. That's it dismantled, drops down very easily as I said. Cruiser stern itself, it's good space, so it's 6 feet 6 inches long, so a very good social area at the back. Two solar panels on the roof, they deliver 200 watts, they were brand new in 2020. There's an MPPT Bluetooth controller with those. And all the windows on this boat have got blackout film on them, so you cannot see through. It does take away a little bit of the light inside the boat. If you don't want them on, you just peel it off, it's as simple as that. Even the front glazed cratch board has got the film on. Gas bottles are in that forward locker, 213 kilos with a changeover valve. Nice anti-slip bits on that front deck actually, and the gunnel here, it's quite practical. The well deck itself, 4 feet 3 inches long. Lovely area this, bench seats either side, a lovely drop down table, that was built very recently. Storage under the seats. I'm going to lift this, just firstly to show you how easy it is, it just clips up very easily but also to show you the space under this locker here it's a huge storage area it goes all the way down but then it goes forward under the gas locker as well storage under the port side bench seat nice glazed front doors and into the boat we go she's fitted out in Oak basically, oak tun and groove on the ceiling, cream paint with oak trim on the sides, oak face ply under the gunnels. Head height in the boat is 6 feet 6, so that's generous. All the lighting is LED, including under gunnel lights. There's Bumble, he's come to say hello. Television itself is a 25 inch Avtex, it's 12 volt, little storage cupboard underneath. The saloon itself is 14 feet 6 inches long, so it's a huge area. Lots of storage. Cupboard in the corner here. The floor in the boat is oak in the saloon and galley with oak effect lino overlaid in the saloon. That was done for doggy's paws. Tiles in the bathroom and oak effect vinyl in the bedroom. Storage under that front seat. There's the view into the well deck. The stove's a Morso Squirrel solid fuel stove, that was new in 2018. The stainless steel chimney was new in 2018. Lovely oak unit on the starboard side here. A couple of footstools with these super comfy armchairs. Of course there's plenty of room in here for a sofa or sofa bed if you wanted to take these bits out. And a breakfast bar leading into the galley. That's one of two radiators and a towel rail on board. They're heated by Webasto diesel fired central heating system. There's a timed thermostat that was new in 2018. And there's a the view down the saloon. Lovely painting of the boat on the wall, I didn't mention that. So the worktops in the kitchen are granite. The galley itself is 11 feet 2 inches long. And we've got the usual hallmarks of Aqualine with these cupboards squirreled away. They're very good at using the space. Stainless steel sink, huge cupboard underneath it, that goes all the way back to the, the gunnel there if you can see, uh, the bulkhead rather. Cupboards over here, frosted glass on these cupboards. Another aquiline trait, you'll see that as we go into the bathroom and things. And under here is the Shoreline fridge freezer, it's 12 or 24 volts, it was brand new in May 2019. There's a side hatch, oh, there's the Perspex panel that slots into the side hatch, but there's the side hatch on the starboard side. 
Another little cupboard squirreled away there. Shelves. And it's a Belling oven grill and four burner hob. That was all brand new in July 2019. No expense has been spared in keeping this boat neat and tidy and things updated and it shows to be honest. It's an absolutely immaculate condition inside and out. Dumbbell having a sniff. So when we go down towards the bathroom under gunnel lighting here. I should have mentioned there's under gunnel lighting in the saloon as well. Frosted glass door leads into the bathroom. It's all a bit misty in here. It's very cold today. The loo itself is a Vetus macerator pump out to a 215 litre holding tank. Full size mirror there. The, the toilet tank has a Gobius Bluetooth tank gauge. You can eat on your phone, you can monitor the, the state of fill. Lovely shower cubicle. There's a light over there. That's tiled. The mixer tap in there was new in 2018. And cupboard and linen shelves in between the shower and the side of the boat there. Nice tiled floor in here, by the way. So it's portholes through the rest of the boat. Into the bedroom. There's the other radiator on board. The bedroom itself is 10 feet 8 inches long. The bed measures 6 feet 2 by 4 foot 6 wide. A couple of huge drawers underneath. Lovely woodwork, actually. And at the head and the foot of the bed is a floor to ceiling wardrobe with some neatly fashioned cupboards down the length of the bed actually. There we go. Beautiful woodwork. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I do like Aquiline. They tend to be very look, well looked after by their owners as well. Under here's the washing machine, there's a candy aquamatic. That does run off the in Inverter when the engine's running, actually. It's useful to know. Otherwise, when you're hooked up to landline, of course. I didn't mention the fans. There's a couple of 12 volt fans over the bed to circulate air when it's hot. Here are the very neatly arranged electrics that Aquiline are well known for. There's the inverter. It's a 2.5 kVA inverter charger. Puts 230 volts through the boat. Now out onto the back deck, 6 feet 6 inches long, I think I mentioned that. There's the control panel, that was new in 2019. And under the boards here is the engine, it's an Isuzu 42. Super clean in here. All very, very dry, regularly serviced. PRM 150 gearbox. And a 300 litre diesel tank. Also has a Vita self-lubricating stern gland in there. So there's a view with the from the helmsman's position. And back down we go. All the light switches and plugs have been renewed on this boat recently. They're all new. The battery power. There are three 220 amp power batteries for the domestic supply. So it's a very good bank of batteries. One starter battery. That was new in 2019. Two alternators on board, including two spares. Water I've not mentioned. The water tank itself is 500 litres stainless steel under the front deck. The water pump was new in 2019. There is a brand new one on board as well as a spare. Hot water is supplied by the engine and the central heating boiler. Right through we go. She comes with all the necessary bits and pieces of navigation equipment. She's ready, to be honest, just to turn the key and go. She's been a liverboard for the last few years, so she's tried and tested from that point of view. And really, nothing to do to her. For a gallery of photographs, fully downloadable colour spec and the price, go to our website, www.rugbyboats.co.uk. So it's goodbye from Bumble, and goodbye to the Welsh Wizard.